Hello. We are Mac. And Jose. And we are the Uber Farmsteaders. Yep. Today we want to talk to you about what's happened the last couple of weeks on the farm. I think last time we did weeks four and five. So yeah, mm -hmm. four and five. Now we're doing weeks six and seven, I think. We've been here now quite a while. It's really starting to feel like home. Almost. Almost like home, yeah. No, it's home. It's home. We do need a sofa though. I We still don't have a sofa and so we have nowhere to sit. We even have a picture of both of the cats sitting on the only two chairs we have. <laughs> so then Jose sits on the little tiny stool and I sit on the folding chair. Mm -hmm. So the cats take priority around here. <laughs> but first, if you are a farmsteader or a homesteader or a farmer, or you're raising your own food, or you just like gardening, or you live in the UP, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, because it's... Free. And... Easy. Yep. All right, Jose, what was the most exciting thing that happened in the last two weeks? Chicken and ducks. Woo! -hoo! So the arrival of our egg layers. Yeah. Are you ready? Hurry up! Where do you in. go? Where do you go? Our ducks are here. Really? Yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, we were hoping that the chicks would have arrived by now, but uh, due to the mail, they went from... St. Paul, Minnesota, which is super close to us, to Billings, Montana, which is nowhere near us. And then now they're back in Milwaukee, which is closer to us. So they will not be here, sadly, I think until tomorrow morning. And that is late, so hopefully the chicks make it. The ducks, so, well, and they were coming out of Iowa. The ducks shipped out of California uh, a little bit after the chicks, and they're here already. So. It's been cold though, so we are very worried about whether or not they're going to be okay. <gasps> what is that? Sadly, we lost all but nine of the little chicks, and we lost a couple of the ducks. So, yeah, that's, 18. That's... We, got eight, we have 18 ducks and nine chicks. A little sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very mm -hmm. sad. The good news is everybody is doing good now yep. and we've got the brooders set up and they are warm and cozy out in the garage. They are happy. <laughs> they are happy and we're happy too. I love having them here. I love doing morning chores and going out and feeding them and watering them. Every morning? Mm -hmm. Every morning and every <laughs> night. It's funny that you have to take on those kind of responsibilities when you have a small farm. <laughs> Okay, so then we got a ton of snow in the last two weeks. Oh, yeah. We got a foot of snow. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I taught Jose uh -huh. something very special. Yep. How to make snow angels. Mm -hmm. But making snow angels almost cost Jose and I our marriage. Jose, why is that? Because I lost my... Oh, he lost his wedding ring mm -hmm. in the snow, in a foot of snow. Yeah. He got up from his snow angel and he shook his hands like this. Adios, Bling. wedding ring. <laughs> so the funny thing is we caught the exact moment he lost his wedding ring on film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we didn't realize he had lost it for two hours. Yep. When we went out to look for it, there was already over a foot of snow on the ground. There was no way we were going to find that wedding ring. But to Jose's credit, he was very disappointed that he had lost his ring. And he spent the next four days really searching yeah. through that deep snow looking for the ring. And I thought all hope was lost. But Jose, what did you find? Uh. It's here. Oh, your wedding ring! It's amazing. <laughs> it is. It's a bit of a miracle. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very exciting that he found his wedding ring. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. So, Jose, you can stay married now. <laughs> You're supposed to be excited about that. Oh, uh -huh, sorry. <laughs> With all of this going on, our neighbor came by and introduced himself, which was really nice. Yeah. And he warned us that there was a big storm coming. Oh, and yeah. he said when these kind of storms come, what happens? Power up. Power outages. <laughs> I thought, eh, power uh, outages, uh -huh. that's not going to happen. So I went into town to do some shopping and hang out with my mom and get our laundry done. 
After I left, Jose sent me a text. Jose, what had happened? Uh-uh. <laughs> Not power. <laughs> no power. And normally that would be fine yeah. because our heat is run on propane. So mm -hmm. at least we can stay warm and comfortable even if it's cold outside. Yeah, but... We have chicks and ducks in the brooder. Yeah. And they need their heat lamps, especially right now because they're still just right around a week old. They need their heat. So Jose texted me that the power had gone out and he rounded up the chicks and ducks and brought them into the house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he played mama bird for the day. <laughs> I stopped at the store and got us a generator. Mm -hmm. Of course, I went into town, didn't really need to spend any money. Left with a brand new generator. So it was break out another thousand, even though I didn't think we would have to do that. Got all the way home. I was standing in the kitchen reading the directions. Jose, what happened? Surprise! The power came back on. <laughs> so now we have a brand new generator that we never had to use. No. The good news is we have a generator. Yeah. So next time the power goes out or we have any issues, we'll still be able to keep the ducks and the chicks warm and have our coffee. Oh well, yeah, that's the most important. <laughs> it's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Now that we have seen the possibility of storms, we've already had a foot of snow and it's not even... Uh, it's barely the beginning of November. What did we do this last week to get prepared for the winter, Jose? Today, we got... ¿Cómo se llama? Oh, well, that's straw. So we have some bedding for the um, rabbits when they get here. Uh -huh. And we picked up six bales of Timothy hay uh -huh. for the rabbits when they get here. Hopefully <laughs> we get some rabbits. When? I don't know. Hopefully soon. We just gotta soon. wait for the cages to arrive. Anyway... So today what we're doing is picking up feed for the animals for the winter because we want to make sure that we're pretty well stocked so we don't have to be making a bunch of trips into town if it gets snowy. So we are picking up hay, straw, and then we'll be picking up bedding for the chicks and ducks and food for the chicks and ducks. Ooh! And we also got some corn so we can <gasps> feed the deer. Oh! Uh, hey, friend. Did a bird just fly uh -huh. in the truck? Yes. No. All right. So, yeah. So, oh, and maybe some turkeys. Oh, nice. whatever, whatever comes across the old property. Anyway, that's what we're up to today. Okay. Here yes. we go. Did we forget to get food for the cats? We had cats. Oh no. Paco and Maria, sorry. <laughs> We've been working on moving the big wood pile from the old barn, and yeah. there is some incredible wood in there. It is. But while we were out there working, Jose literally tripped over something. What did you find, Jose? I don't know, but it's something cool. Yeah. Uh, what are you digging up out here? Another treasure. You found treasure? Yeah. Oh, what's this I almost tripped on? I don't know. But it is. Wow, it's an old hand plow. Look at that. Something they probably would have uh -huh. hooked up to a couple of animals. Hmm. Wow. Do you think it's working with cat? Uh, I don't think the cats can pull that, but we sure no. can try. I don't think we'll get very far. Wow, that's really neat, Jose. Uh -huh. All right, it what is. else are you digging up now? Something strange. Oh, look at that! Like some sort of an old gear. Mm -hmm. And you're having to use a shovel to get it out of here? Yep. It's my project. It's your project. You know we're supposed to be working on the gardens today. Huh? Okay, what? All right. I give you one hour. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, it's big. It is. Maybe it's an old tractor. Oh my god. <laughs> We wouldn't need to buy one if you dug uh -huh. one up. One of the things about these old farms is instead of taking things uh, and getting rid of them, they just buried them. And so it'll be interesting along the way to see what kind of things we find uh, as we begin digging on the property and uh, building the gardens. This is just the start of it, I'm sure. Can you pull up on it right there or no? With your hand? Oh yeah, you're, oh, look at that. Wow! Yeah, it's what? totally some sort of rake to drag. Oh, no. See all these right here? Mm -hmm. They probably used to turn down and then you could drag them over the 
ground. That's awesome. Interesting find, Jose. Yeah. All right. Well, put it with our other um, really important stuff. <laughs> we'll let it dry out, and then we can clean it off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. So over the last two weeks, we took on two building projects. Are you ready with your skill saw, sir? That is a tape measure, not a skill saw. So we mm -hmm. built the duck and chick brooders. Yep. What else did we build, Jose? Something more important. Yeah, something more important <laughs> than the chicken duck brooders, yep. which was our bed. Yep. So, Jose, uh -huh. you know how we have been sleeping on an air mattress? What's that like? It's almost like um, ice cube, almost. It's almost mm. like an ice cube. It is very cold. So our air mattress is laying directly on the floor, yep. uh, right above the crawl space, and it is cold. So what I thought today is that we would try and build a bed frame and get our bed up off the floor. What do you yep. think? It will be much better. It'll be much better. <laughs> I think so too. But we built the bed frame, and so now we are up off the floor, and it is staying a lot warmer. We still don't have our mattress, <laughs> but at least we're sleeping better. Yeah, much better. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jose, what was that hid behind all of the hay bales? Big toys. Did you get a chainsaw? Yeah. One of my uncles was getting rid of an electric chainsaw. We are now the proud owners. And we have a bunch of bushes to take down. You have many, many jobs. That's right. Why don't you plug that in and get it charging? Yep. Because you know what's ahead of us for the next week? Temperatures getting all the way up into the 60s. Wow. We are going to be able to do so many outside projects because we have six days at least of beautiful warm weather. And we're going to take full advantage. All right, now get back to work. Now, the last thing, Jose, is we are on this beautiful warm up. Oh, yeah. We have a week of temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Summer again! <laughs> It is, it's just like summer. It is gorgeous here. One of the things we will not be buying for early next season as a greenhouse, and we don't really have time to build. So what I'm thinking of doing, because this little cutout from our big barn is a south facing cutout. So that is east and then south right here. So the sun comes around this side of the barn and shines into this all day long. So we're thinking of turning this into a temporary greenhouse. What I'm doing today is measuring it so that I can order wiggle wire and some UV plastic to put over this next, early next spring to use as a temporary greenhouse. What do you think, Jose? <laughs> and we are gonna try and take full advantage of this beautiful weather by getting the garden, some of the garden beds ready because we really want to be planting early next spring and if we don't get those garden beds ready. Yep. But we went to get a tiller the other day and Jose, what happened? They say, uh, I think it's a little late. Yeah, they, <laughs> they had already supposedly put all their mm -hmm. tillers away for the season so we couldn't get a tiller. We are going to try one more rental company today though, see if we can get a tiller rented because we have to get this work done or we really want to get it done, yeah. I should say. Because if we wait till next spring, it's going to cut into our planting time. So we're going to really work hard to get that done. I think those were the big projects we did this week, Jose. Oh, we got the bows built for our caterpillar tunnels. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna work to get the bows for the caterpillar tunnels set mm -hmm. out. Not put the plastic on until next spring, but at least then we won't have to set those uh, early in the spring next year. Hi, Maria. Are you gonna come in and say hi? Here. <laughs> come here, say hi to everybody. Oh, there. Yeah. This is Maria, our little female kitty. Aw. Yeah, what are you doing? I swear we got you food for the winter. <laughs> you hot rats. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. we'll feed you some rats. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of that, we caught a mouse in the garage today. <gasps> I thought yeah? we didn't, but I found one. Oh wow. Okay. So that's everything for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's been a very busy two weeks, but we are having a ton of fun here on the farmstead. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, we are Mac. And Jose. And we are the Uber Farmsteaders. Good night. <laughs>